In this series of videos, we're going to be looking at a subject that students often get confused with. And that is we're going to be looking at refraction, the idea that light changes its direction when it moves from one medium, for example air, into another one glass. We will go a bit deeper into the topic by looking at something called refractive index. Refractive index, interestingly enough, is actually about the relationship of the speed of light in the medium compared to the speed of light in another medium. We will put these ideas together into something that is known as Snell's law. And this law will enable us to calculate angles of incidence and angles of refraction as necessary. The most common example of refraction is when light moves from air into glass. So in this diagram here, the white part represents air, the blue part represents glass, this could be a glass block, and this part represents air again. Now we can follow the ray of light. The ray of light was shone here and it hit the surface of the glass. Now it didn't carry straight on, as we might have expected, it changed direction and went down like this. It carried on until it got to the interface between glass and air again, and then instead of carrying straight on, it turned this way. At each of these interfaces between air and glass, we say the ray of light was refracted. Here between glass and air, it was refracted. So by refraction, what we mean is light changing the direction that it's traveling when it leaves one medium and goes into another medium. So why does the light refract? Well, when light is traveling through a substance with low density, like air, it's going very, very fast. When it passes into something like glass, it's still going very fast, but it does slow down a little bit. So the light here is slower than the light here. So we've got the light is very, very quick here, then it slows down, and then it comes out again, it starts to go very quickly again. It's this changing of speed that causes it to change direction. The next stage is to be able to predict the direction that the light will go when it does go from one medium into another. Now, for this we have to draw these lines that we can call normal lines. In anything, when we're doing diagrams with light, in any ray diagrams, we put these lines called normal lines in. Now, these lines are purely imaginary. They don't exist, but they're a handy tool to help us measure angles a bit later. Now, a normal line is always drawn at right angles to whatever the surface is. So you can see that the surface of the glass is here, so the normal line is at right angles to it. Um, if I was shining light on this side of the glass, because the glass is this way, the normal line would be across, and so on. So the normal lines, which are imaginary lines, are always drawn at 90 degrees to the surface. Now, look what happens here. When we go from air into glass, the ray of light doesn't carry straight on. What it's done is it's bent, or it's changed its direction, towards the normal line here. So instead of carrying straight on, it's shifted or rotated towards the normal line. Notice when we go from glass into air, the opposite happens. From glass going into air here, it doesn't just carry straight on, but it's rotated or bent away from the normal line. So there's the normal line and it moves away from it. So it's very important to remember, air to glass, it will go towards the normal, glass to air, away from the normal. But it's not only air and glass. This would also work if this was air and water, for example. If it goes from a less dense substance, like air, to a more dense substance, like glass, it bends towards the normal. If it goes from a more dense substance, like glass, to a less dense substance, like air, then it bends away from the normal. To summarize, we can say that when light travels from one medium to another, its speed changes. This change of speed causes a change in direction. This change of direction is what's called refraction. When light travels from a less dense to a more dense medium, for example, air into water or air into glass, it refracts towards the normal line. When light travels from a more dense to a less dense medium, for example, from glass into air or from water into air, it refracts away from the normal line. In the next video, we will look at how we can do calculations around this so that we can predict the angles by which the light changes direction.